Okay, welcome in, everybody. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why didn't y'all call me? Nobody told me the market was down like this. What is wrong with y'all? Everybody going to sleep or something? Jeez Louise. We are down to 4,000. We're down 3%. Yo, wow. Let's look at this. We're down below the overnight low. Just down, 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 down. And I suppose this has something to do with CPI or the Fed or some of that garbage. So, you know, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, we told you and I know that things are bad. I mean, things are bad, y'all. You know how much a 24 pack of drinks is? $12 for 24 packs. It's $12. That is what? 24, what, 50 cents a drink for a can? I mean, it's un unruly. Last week, I was able to get them for $3.50 for a 12 pack, which would be $7 for 24 of them. But it's just not, it's, it's crazy, you know. My kids want candy every day in the store. And I'm going, Daddy can't afford candy every day in the store, you little brats. So it's just crazy, man. Oh, look at this. Volume's down a little bit compared to yesterday. We were in the 8,000 yesterday for every two minutes. And the AD, baby, we are near its low. AD of negative 488. Throw in the towel. And with the market being down 3%, my account was blown up. So I'm out of money. So we got to, no, I'm just kidding. You know, not not uh, down uh, bad at all. So now we have worked so hard the last couple of days on uh, getting everything mechanic mechanical, right? Getting everything mechanicalized, mechanicized, or whatever the word is. Uh, Bobby says you didn't know the market down because you were too busy flirting with Liz and Jenny on Twitter. Yeah, y'all heard me on. I, I like to tweet them all the time. I love Liz and Jenny. I do. So I tweet them all the time. I was telling about my mama, and she doesn't even know. You know, Jenny's so. Jenny is so. Uh, I mean, can you imagine how high maintenance that woman is? Can you imagine? I mean, that is a high maintenance woman, and nothing wrong with that. Beth's a high maintenance woman, but it's just like she lives in a totally different world right, than a lot of us. So uh, it's just crazy. I, I love, you know, she had to get a cat when her grandma died. So I got a television when my grandma died. So I was sharing it with her. Uh, what was I talking about? <clears throat> Dang it. Bobby, you done got me all upset. Think about my mom all dying. Anyway, market's down. So, you know, it is what it is. Let's look at our. Uh, what do you call volume profile on our big green monster? See if it gives any indication of what was coming. Let's see what we got here. Oh, behave. So we had a, this is what you call a drop and run, baby. We are dropping and running. So we are now over sold. It's like it overdid it, right? And you expect to bounce back to here and back into this area. Well, who knows? Let's see what our, what you call linear regression looks like. That looks normal, doesn't it? Now, y'all, we've almost got an upslope on our linear regression. Bobby called bear market here. I called uh, recession here. And who knows? Um, everything's flat. Look at this, though. Volume low, volume higher, volume low, volume higher. Volume's kind of, I don't know if I can tell anything from volume about if it's, you know, if this is going to be a continuation, exhaustion, momentum. I can't tell. I just, I'm going to close the whole thing, for God's sake. All right, so let's do what we do best, and let's do what we do with our little spreadsheet. Now, here's where I'm going to make y'all mad. Oh, this is what I was going to tell y'all. Here's where I'm going to make y'all mad. Would you believe as much as we are trying to make this a mechanical strategy? I'm doing better in the account where I'm, I'm not going to say not managing it. I am managing the account, but I'm what we would call Freehanding it. I am freehanding the account. So in that account, you and somebody on YouTube said it the other day, said, Hey Bob, how come you're not, you know, in the other one, you're open trades, but you're not closing trades. I'm experimenting with different management techniques. You know, I am a scientist at heart. I love the experimentation. And so I'll go two accounts. I'm going to keep very mechanical. The other account, I want to go with my gut, my intuition, my belly, my stomach. And I'm just going to kind of monitor it without tracking the trades and without doing the stuff. And I'm just going to see if I'm better at it from a mechanical standpoint 
or whether I'm better at it, uh, you know, just free handing and going with my gut. Got to tell you, on a 3% down move, I'm doing much better than this account. Much better. There's no doubt. Let's just show the other account. So here's the other account. You're down, I'm down 3%, okay? Now, unless this is giving me a wrong mark, and I don't think it is, because I also pulled this up on the uh, on the uh, phone earlier, mobile device. I, you know, I'm, I'm down 3% and I'm up $55. Now, let's show you the real truth here of this account. This account is down 5,300 on the year. So where did that come from? That did not come from the 111. And I feel like I'm apologizing all the time for that. But we got to realize these losses in this account were simply from the uh, AIM and the TQQQs and the Page Fundy's Excellent Adventure that we suffered at the beginning of the year. That's what that is. And we were down, what was it, y'all? Y'all, I, I don't hide this at all. We were down, what, eight or $9,000? And now we're back up, you know, down to 5,300. So we're going the right way. This account is probably, I need to look at the history of it, but it's probably doing better than anything. And I just freehand this account. So this is the account that you see me putting on new positions in. But, uh, you know, I'm letting them go to expiration. I'm letting these trades in here go to expiration. And uh, sometimes I'll go look at my positions, you know, like here, I'll go look at them. And, you know, we got three days to go. Wang, cry me a river. Uh, nothing in the money. You know, we got some four days to go. Nothing in the money. And then every now and then I'll close a naked put. But I, And that's how I look at it. I look at this account like, hmm, well, let's see. There's some naked puts there. Let's see. That one's up. $57, wang, cry me a river. This one's down, you know, a dollar. You know, it's down $19 on the day, but it's up 69. This one's up 88. Look at this. And I, and that's how I'm managing this account. I'm not, I'm just going, oh, look at the deltas. Deltas are pretty good, you know, the Vega, the Beta. I'm just kind of doing it that way. And I got to tell you, that one's probably doing better than the ones that were McCann, doing McCann. Oh, I need this. I need to stat it. I need to stat stuff. But as soon as I go to the stats and looking and tracking trades, I'll lose my intuitiveness. I'll lose my ability to freehand the account. So I kind of like freehanding one account, and I kind of like mechanical in the other account. So we'll see you know, how we end up at the end of the year. All right. So with that being said, let's do our stuff. Here's our regular spreadsheet. And boy, if you missed the... Uh, show yesterday on what do you call uh, the Muscadine Mafia. Woo, we went into some deep stuff. Well, y'all missed it. Hmm. That was some good stuff. So let's see how bad we're down. We're down 3%, right? So market down 3%. So if market down 3% and I'm in an account that I would otherwise be 100% in SPY, right? How much should that account be down? Well, let's say 26, 3, 18 times 0.03%. So if we're down 3%, you would figure we'd be down $789. Okay, let's see how far we're down. Let's see how bad it is in this case. 789. So in this one, we're down. We're down. Crimson, $83.75. What? The, well, let's see, the, the net lick right now is 26214.88. Oh, behave, we're down $103. That's what we call portfolio management. That's what we call risk man. Yeah, yeah, no free hand. Follow the plan. Uh, Stacy, yes, if you missed yesterday, you missed the confessions of bad trades by Stacy and Larry. Hey, but it was good, though, because it helped everybody. Uh, so Stacy, she 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 was sneaky getting in there yesterday. She said only because it wasn't on on uh, what you call YouTube. So it's good. So we need more of those where Stacy talks because I like when Stacy talks because she's as far as I know, she's the only lady in in six hundred and twenty six men that we've got. Well, there's a couple of them. Yeah, confession's good for the soul, Dwayne. Really is. So it's really good to hear her perspective on stuff. I mean, don't you know Stacy's like. Hello, ladies, and going up to the bar and Charlie's Angels, and all the crap that we talk about. Don't you know she does? Oh my gosh, it's like being in a frat house. 
So she's got to get tired of it. And the fact that she hangs out with us is just simply amazing. So we love Stacy and we're glad that she's here. And we probably need to, you know, to be, you know, at least more kind to Stacy. I mean, Stacy, you know, where, where does Stacy? She's gotten used to it. She's gotten used to the locker room talk. So she's fine with it. Okay, good. All right, so let's see what our little uh our little Greeks say today. Yeah, I'm so excited. We're just doing some great stuff here. Oh, I was gonna tell y'all this. I was sitting there after I was doing my workout today with my personnel trainer. And I was driving home almost out of gas, but I was like, if I get gas, I'll be, there's the biggest damn ant I've ever seen in my life. Well, if that thing comes over here, it's going to carry me away like a like a Volkswagen bug. That thing is humongous. So what was I saying? Oh, I was coming home and uh, I was sitting there going, we may be, they may take, they may talk about us years from now. We may be like, now y'all, this is going to sound big for those of y'all that know this group. We may be the, turtles of the 21st century that's who we may be you remember the turtle traders now for those of y'all who never heard of the turtles and the turtle traders and all their saga and what they did as a group you need to look at them we we very well may be the new turtles the trading where did that damn thing go oh my god if that thing's got wings i am not safe at all uh we may be the new turtles they may talk about us years and years ago. You remember when the trader nerds uh, got on to trade management and they came up with the Greeks and everything and they started looking at those and managing trades and they made all that money? That may be us. It's too early to tell. I mean, we may blow out an account here or there, but right now I'm kind of thinking that's us. We're the new turtles. So Google turtle traders, you'll you'll, you'll find it. So our deltas are 20.33. Wah. 20.33. They were raw, non-trading group, talked to trade breakouts from horizontal support positions. Yeah, and they were a group, right? And they just attacked the market. They joined together. They did this. I mean, it was, it was just great. It's, it's a great read to read all about the curves. 2019. 2019. So we're 2019 today. Market goes down. We expect our deltas to increase. And they did. But looky, what looky, looky, looky. Here comes Cookie. Um, no adjustment, baby. We have not crossed the point of 39. All right. We got theta. Hello, theta monster. Theta of 3903. We really should probably go underground with all this stuff. I mean, yeah, it's going to get out sometime. Look at this, y'all. We're at 0.15. That is green as well. All right. And we've got a VIX of our little thing tells us what VIX is on our chart here. Our VIX is 25.55. We'll just say 25, shall we? Shall we, friends? Our buying power usage has probably blossomed, and it is a whopping 45.59. Oh, behave. God, it went down. Our buying power went down. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Madam Butterfly. I forgot about Madam Butterfly. Of course, Dwayne, you know, we have we ever met Madam Butterfly in person? And nowadays, um, Madam Butterfly could as easily be a dude as it could a, a girl. And I ain't saying that's a bad one. By the way, I just watched, you know, I love Food Network. And I was watching the Great Food Truck Race. And I love the truck, the, uh, oh, man, what was it? The cheese group with the old gal. She weighed about 500 pounds and she was a like she was like a he, but she was a she was a cross dress or something. I love her. And I told Beth, I said, I want to go find that truck. So it's, it's not that it's, it's a bad thing. I love, I love that old cow. What was the name? Maybe she's born with it. That's it. Maybe she's born with it. I've got to find that food truck because I love that old gal. And she just, I just like, I just want to give her a hug. Um, all right, where were we at? Oh, so now if y'all, Eliza, yeah, Eliza, I think Eliza might be a dude. I think you're pronouncing that wrong, Ed. I think you, I think Eliza may be a dude. I'm just not sure. Can we? And it's not important. Let's. Okay, you said no. Okay, okay. <sighs> I got to turn my fan on. I'm getting hot. If it's too loud, will y'all tell me? All right. So now we have built a cool piece of technology that is called decisions. Okay, decisions. I said decision. Here we go. Is market down or flat? I would say, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call this a down market. Wouldn't you say so? So it says, hey, Bob, do I make an opening trade? Yes. I ain't even got to think about it, y'all. It is looking at my Greeks. It is looking at everything. 
Okay, we've got three confirmed females out of 680 people. 0.5, that's a low grade. That is. Oh, and by the way, I can tell like 99.9% .9 of people that uh, watch uh, our uh, YouTubes are, are, are men. Now, some of them are undecided, which is kind of cool. Uh, so do I make an opening trade? Yes. Look at there, y'all. Now, it also says, hey, Bob, do I need to close a trade? Well, it says, look here, tubby, old fat black glass spam hat wearing son of a gun. Do you have a 65% winning trade? Well, I got to answer yes or no. Well, let's go ahead and answer that. You know what I'm saying? Since we've got this technology now, we've got AI technology. Well, let's see. Do I got something? Well, hello, ladies. I think that's good. Up 110%, 60%. Okay, so we can go back and we can answer the question. Okay, uh, yes. Yes, indeed. Oh, sweet Bobby has a 65% winner. Okay, so then it says, hey, Dumbbutt, close the largest percentage winner. I mean, I ain't supposed to have a no there. I suppose, oh, there's all. So uh, yellow is data entry. So it says, yes. So it says, hey, Bob, Close the largest percentage winner. Okay, I'll do it. No problem with that. So now, without me ever having uh, to do anything uh, other than enter my information, my little computer tells me what to do. It says, hey, bub, put a trade on. Put a trade on. Do you have the answer? So I know exactly what to do. Isn't that cool? God, that's cool. That is just, God, that's cool. All right, so let's do what it says, shall we? Now we're up $116, which is which is which is which is great, y'all. Uh all right, here we go. So here we go. We're gonna put on a new trade. Where we're gonna go. We're gonna go closest to 60 days without going over, as long as I don't overlap trades. And we're gonna find us a put debit spread 50 points wide. And we're gonna move that down where we can pay $10 for it. $10. AI says rinse and repeat. Exactly. I, I guess that's artificial intel. I don't know. You know, I programmed it in so it's subject to telling me the wrong stuff to do and uh i think at some point we will have the discussion of the formulas that i went through i think y'all would like to see behind this i think y'all would like to see the behind the scenes of that. maybe maybe y'all aren't that there one day they'll be like yeah my papa he was in the trader nerves they came up with these algo trading systems back in the day and my grandkids Friends will say, you mean the old guy smells like mothballs, keeps his house 105 degrees and wears a sweater in the summer? That guy? Yeah, that guy. So there's 1250. Oh, by the way, getting old is hard to do. My doctor wants me to, they sent me this thing in the mail. And it's got a bucket in it. And so they want me to, now if y'all are eating lunch, you may want to mute yourself. Right now. I won't say too much, but they want me to poo in the bucket. Okay, so I've got to poo in this bucket, and it's a little bitty bucket, and I'm like, uh, Beth, how am I going to do this? I'm like, it's like I'm going to have to hover or something while I'm aiming into the bucket, and I'm a big old boy. I just don't think I can hover and aim at the same time, so I asked Beth. I said, would you be willing? I said, hey, I wouldn't ask you this if it wasn't my doctor woman. Would you perhaps be willing to hold the bucket while I... <laughs> While Big Daddy tries to, uh, you know, to go poo into the bucket. And she said, oh, hell no. Uh, she, she, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you should have heard Ben. It's funny. I, I was thinking about her last night. I said, oh, listen, Ben. Listen, listen, you know, for better or worse, richer or poor, uh, <laughs> you know, when a doctor wants you to poo in the bucket. <laughs> I said it's the least you could do, you know, to to help help a man out here, help a, help a brother out. Like <laughs> so then, you know, in the instructions, it's like, okay, then you got to put the cap on it, and then you got to rush this thing to the UPS center. And I'm thinking, you know, look, man, uh, yeah, <laughs> to mail this thing back, and I'm like, look, dude, I once I collect the sample. I mean, I just don't, I'm not feeling comfortable going to UPS and say, here, you know, take this and, and uh, I don't know, man. It's just uh, postage prepaid and everything, but maybe I'll put it in a little box or something. Oh, my gosh. Jeez, I don't know. I'm going to send Beth to the UPS store, see if she can. Uh, 
hey, honey, you got to, I know you got to go to the Piggly Wiggly pick up groceries tonight. I was just going to say, <laughs> you dropped this off at the VS store. Oh, God. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> All right, so we're filled on our putt debit spread. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and do a one 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 uh, as long as we ain't got wonky strikes. So I kind of want to get 20 bucks for this thing. So maybe around this 3,500. Uh, 10 Delta 11% probability being in the money. Hey, honey, uh, I know you got to drop the kids off at football practice. <laughs> uh, and you know when you get a book, yeah. <laughs> You know, when if you, you know, advertise on Craigslist, like I've got a lot of uh, women people can. Oh, uh, you know, when they ask you, you know, the little snarky lady at the post office, does, does this have any, uh, does this have any biodegradable, bio, does it have any, you know, anything that might explode? Or they all have a question, get out of here. I'm not exactly sure how to answer that when I go to the UPS store. Does this have any radioactive material? Well, that's quite possibly. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, so we got to move that down just a little bit. Whew, heavens. Let's we'll, uh, move that down, make it less advantageous for us. And there we go. All right, so we got the one, one, one. Oh, man. Hey, look, y'all, you know, y'all think your job is bad, right? <laughs> Somebody's got to help with the sample. <laughs> Uh, we'll see. Oh, what's his name? Mike Rowe, or <laughs> world's dirtiest guy. What do you do for a living? Oh, uh, I just work in the mail room. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, geez. Excuse me. All right. So let's put this in. <coughs> oh, gosh. Let's put this in the skip. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Someone's always got there. Listen, it don't matter how bad your job is, somebody's got it worse, friend. Listen. <laughs> oh, okay. So let's go 48 days. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Stay straight in over here. Oh, God. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to sell the 3,500, one of the 3,500s. Oh, let's get it back to normal here. Right, 3,500. Uh, <laughs> oh heavens! All right, so we're gonna sell the thirty-five hundred, and we're going to do the thirty-seven seventy, thirty-seven twenty foot spread. Oh, but <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right, so thirty-seven twenty, uh, uh, thirty-seven seven, thirty-seven seventy, thirty-seven twenty foot heavy spread. <laughs> I say 1125, 1150. We probably won't get 1150. Let's see if we get 1125. Well, switching all the way. So $550 in buying power. Let's use it. I said, let's use it. All right, so we didn't get to 1125. We'll go $11. We get less advantageous. $11. And we should get to it. And we do. I said, and we do. There we go, $11. Oh, all right, let's put it in a spreadsheet. <clears throat> all right, my crows. So here we go. Mm -hmm. My crows. Give me S. And we did a one tranche. Uh, this is going to be a one, 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 I guess 18th, right? One, 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 18th. And our strikes are 3770, 3720. <laughs> oh, we're doing one, one, one. It's been a while since we put on a trade. Is that right? No. Have I pulled up the wrong spreadsheet? Is this right? I guess so. Jeez Louise. Man, I ain't put on nothing in a long time. All right, so we got what forty eight days. Oh, so we're putting this on nine thirteen. My daughter's eighteenth birthday. I don't think I have an official. I guess an adult for a daughter. That's weird. So it's like I feel like my official job is over. Um, 
Let them know. So happy is having a birthday. Eleven dollars. So we brought in fifty fifty nine. Okay, now so remember we go back to the decision tree. Decision tree says, okay, dude, you got something over uh sixty five percent. So uh, do I close the trade? He says, yeah. Now why is it telling me close the trade? Because my theta is sufficient, and it's always a good time to take off risk. Let's go and let's take off something, shall we? So the biggest winner that we have, let's see, that one we closed yesterday. So let's delete that group. Let's see. <clears throat> uh, so we're up 31%, up 142%, up 97%, 147%, 56%. So it looks like this hedge one is the one that we need to take off. Now, remember, uh, here's the thing on this one. This one was supposed to be a hedge. I was supposed to take this off at 50%. This is why we like this. We uh, we like this. Someone said, it didn't make sense. Just sell puts. Just sell puts. Why are you doing this? Because this little profit tent builds up sometimes. We've only got 17 days in this trade, and this trade's up 144%. Take it off. Now, here, because this one was put on differently, right? This is a hedge. So I'm, I'm going to take these off separately so I can manage them separately. I put them on separately, I'll manage them separately. So this will be kind of cool to kind of do this differently. Right? So let's take off the naked component first. Taking off Fred's. Going to be a loser, y'all. Going to be a loser. We sold that thing for 10. And we're going to buy it back for maybe 15. So let's take that off. I said... We're going to take it off for 15. Let's make it less advantageous. So this is a debit. So we're going to pay more. we pay 15 and a quarter. And hopefully that'll fit. There we go. 15 and a quarter. So let's take our losses. Let's just take our lumps. So this one, closing price. Let's see if the spreadsheet works because I hadn't tried this one. All right. So 15 and a quarter. So that means it was 73.71 is what it took me to close it no 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 i'm in the wrong part this is the put debit spread sorry yeah here's it 15 and a quarter right. so cost me 155 dollars to get out of it and we got out of it on 9 13 22 so we were in this 27 days and looks like we lost are you kidding? That's all we lost? Let's see, we sold it for 124 and we closed it for 155. That's amazing, y'all. Isn't that amazing? That's the power of the 112, y'all. Uh oh, I got to put this switch in. Hold on. Let's make this red. All right, so we're going to make this. Oh, let me take that color off of there. That's going to drive me crazy. Let's go to the white. There we go. So now we'll make this whole thing red. Well, Bobby, won't you make the whole thing green? Cause my thing's gonna consider this a loser. So I'm gonna consider that a loser. Oh no, 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 wrong thing. Wrong thing, wrong thing. Okay. Make it green. Yeah. All right, and let's close the debit spread. All right, this will be interesting. So here we go. Monitor. Uh yeah, let's close these. So remember, we would have bought this for we would have bought this for $10. But now we can close this thing for $36. Oh, be hey. Let's see if we can get Phil from there. No. We're going to have to work it a little bit. That's right. Because you're doing this on your lunch hour. you got plenty of time. So let's make this less advantageous. Let's move it down a quarter. And we might have to move closer to that $31.75. No big deal. I'm just, just no, we won't. We're going to close that puppy for $35.75. Let's go put that in. So over here, we're going to close in price was 35.75. Oh, uh, if this doesn't show the power of these trades, nothing will. 9, 13, 22. In there, 27 days. We made $112 on that. Oh, babe. Let's make it green. Yeah, this is so good. Oh, this is awesome. 
Yo, we are the courage. We are the, that's why I play We Are the Champions. I started thinking, you know, what if we are the stars? So we made, let's put it in our calendar, our, our little profit calendar. We made $112.87 minus 30.88 that we lost on the two. So we made $81.99. $81.99. That ain't bad. Profit count, $81.99. For a Tuesday, look at us, y'all. On a 3% down day, you and I made $81.99 and put on a new trade. What are you worried about, monkey? I don't know. Be worried about nothing, really. Make it green. So we've got what, 170, almost 180 dollars there. Beautiful. All right. Just close that down. <clears throat> All right. So that kind of show you how that works. All right. So got a trade off. Now Ed a lot of times goes back and he'll redo his. Uh, He'll redo his his Greeks and look at don't you know you ain't got to do that. Do it once a day. I don't want you to look at it the rest of the day and go back in and says make another trade. Don't do that. Make your trades and go live your life. Forget it. Don't go back and update all this and look again. See if it says open another trade. Wait till tomorrow. You got a life. Live it. Huh? Be done with. It. All right. So now let's go to the other account. Took all that time from that account. So let's go to the other one. Go to the IRE. And let's look at the Greekies over here. So the IRA does not have the cool spreadsheet, but we can still make the decisions. We'll show you how it works. So Delta's 8835. 8835. Uh-oh, have I not updated the I say 8835. Looks like we don't have our net lift over here. So 9, 13, 22. And uh, 9, 13, 22. And so our account balance is 101, 816, 101, 819, 79. Okay, so we're down $486 on a 3% day, where if I was all inspired, I'd be down $3,000. Wing. All right, so we go to Greeks and ratios. Let's see what our theta is. <clears throat> theta is 157.11. Um, 157.11. Boom! It shows it's green. Good. We're 0.15. Our buying power is 26.337. We're at 25%, no adjustment here. So we've got the deltas put on a new trade. We've got the thetas to say we could or couldn't put on a trade. And the buying power is fine. What am I going to do? What am I going to do on a 3% down day? You darn right, I'm putting on a trade. And I'm probably putting on two tranches over here. Really, Bobby? Yeah, I probably am. Probably, I don't know, 25%. 0.15, I don't want to be over, you know, one or two. Let's see. So let's go over here. Let's go to the other account. Crimson account, and let's grab that order. So filled order. Here was our opening trade. I'm going to right click, create a duplicate order. And I'm going to move back to the other account. Now, is this the right one? Yeah, I think so. So let's see what it's going for now. 1075. Dag it. Let's see if we can get 11 on it. Probably won't try it. Probably won't. I'm gonna try it. Darn it. I hate getting a less, less credit on this. Let's move that 1075. Move it a quarter. And that 1075. All right, so let's go put that in our pipe and smoke it. Knock it off. Give me in. I'll just do one or two. Because we might get a Big down data. I don't want to say we may, we may, we may. Well, I think because it really doesn't matter what we think. 111, 23rd, 24, 25th. This will be the 111, 26th. 111, 26th. And our strikes are 3770, 3720, 3500, clips. And we're going to do a 111. 
48 days and 1322 and I say 1075. All right, great. Now, because I mean, I, I know what our algorithm would say, right? Because our Gregson ratio say, well, we've got sufficient data. So it would say, you know, you put on a trade, right? It would say that, hey, if the market's down, put on trade. And what would it say about closing the trade? Well, since you've got sufficient data, sure. Go and see if you can take off the trades. Let's do that. So let's go over here. Let's group them. And let's put him in his little group first. 11126. Oh, dear. Hey. How have I got all of these stuff? What in the world? Hold on. So we said we got to put 11126 is 3770. There she is. 3720. There she is. And then we're going to do the 3500. There. Right click. Move the group. Add group. 11126. How have I let this go? Please. So I guess that must mean I don't have a let's see, right, naked, naked, naked. We got one, two, we got three trades in here. I don't have. Okay. So let's see. I must not have put the last three in. Give me a second to clean it up, y'all. So that means I got a one, one, two, fifty, fifty, thirty, nine hundred. Hold on, let me do this where I can grab it off screen so I don't have to change screens. So it looks like I need a one one two fifty fifth. One two fifty fifth. Just make sure I ain't got it here. One one two fifty fifth. Yep. Let's go find him. One one two fifty fifth is thirty nine hundred. There she is. Uh, thirty eight fifty and thirty four fifty. All right, so that's one one two fifty fifty. Let's put him in his group. One one two fifty fifty. Got him. I right, say so one one two fifty fourth is the thirty eight sixty. Thirty eight ten. This won't take much second. Thirty four thirty. So this is the one one two fifty four. I believe I left this get out of line. One, one, two, fifty four. All right, one, one, two, fifty four. So the one, one, two, fifty third should be the thirty seven fifty. No, the thirty seven hundred and the thirty three hundred. There we go. All right, click, move click. And that's the one, one, two, fifty third. Told you it wouldn't take long. Sorry for that. All right, now. You're pulling up to the old tiki bar and you're looking around and you kind of go on glancy, glancy. 47%, 0%, 70%. Hello, 65, 71, minus 80, minus 56. Well, hello, ladies. There you go. 162. There she goes. 164. Wow. So we got 164, 164. So 11249, 11248, I'd probably take the 11248 off first, right? Because it's the older trade. So hello, ladies. There she is. 1126. This is oh y'all in 17 days to go. How awesome is this? Look at this, y'all. The market's down flipping three percent. The market's down three percent. You've got two naked puts and the trade's up a dollar twenty-five. Mic drop. My gosh, is this great. I just, I'm about to, I'm about to dance in the streets. Let's go get the other one. So we're going to close two of the 36 nines. Two of the 36 nines. 17 days, 36 nines. So 
Nineties for eight dollar credit, seven seventy five. Let's try it. See, I see it. Cancel replace. Less advantageous. Let's go to seven fifty. You imagine the debit the credit trade. We're closing for a trade. Where does where does this happen? How does this ever happen? Just amazing. So one one two forty eight. We took off for. 750. 1248 or 750 credit. Make sure you put in as a credit negative 750, which means we got a credit of 3162. X the 1322, which means we made $89.49. 89.49, we make it green. Then what do we do? We go to our profit calendar, put in our 89.49. Rinse and repeat, y'all. It's the same thing every day. Is it born? Maybe. Maybe. Good trading should be kind of boring. It's mechanical. It's the same thing day in and day. Questions, comments. If not, I see you tomorrow.